never waiting for a trailer driver to come back. And you need a heavier weight, it's a weightier but, but that was the, the crux of us getting into the grain maze job, was really being able to afford and to justify the header. The header's about 40 grand, so you need a reasonable acreage to sort of justify setting that going. Um, so a specialised grain maze uh, header, uh, totally different what we're used to with a, with a forage maze. It, 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 is, it is a row dependent header, so you have to follow the, follow the, uh, the rows. And the reason it's called a snapper header is because the stalks are fed in through here and then there's rollers that drag the stalk down through and actually snap the cob off and the cob is then fed into the combine via here. And underneath the header there is um, cutters, blades, actually chop all the stalk down. So all that actually ends up going in the combine is the cob itself. So um, quite a clever bit of kit. The rollers here are adjustable hydraulically on each one to suit varying uh, stalk diameters. And then it's, there's chain, chains here that feed the cob up and then into the combine. The combine itself, then the other thing we have to do is, a, is a, obviously a standard uh, combine that we're all used to. Um, what we have on the, on the drum, we have to uh, put filler plates in between the rasp bars to, to fill the gaps between each uh, rasp bar so the cobs themselves don't just go straight through and into the inside of the drum. Um, that's the major change from a standard conventional combine. Um, the other thing we have on here, which helps no end, is that the, which most commons don't have, is a variator drive on the side, which allows us to alter the speed of the header. So we can change the speed of the header to relation to the forward speed that we're travelling. Um, then going back through the combine, everything else is fairly conventional. You can get uh, maize sieves, uh, which we are, we are running, but we only run with the, the, the top sieve, and we actually take the bottom sieve out. Um, we're finding that's unnecessary and, and it helps keep the combine cleaner. And then going further back on the chopping mechanism, we have to change the knives to a heavier, heavier duty maize knife just because the cob is that much um, harder work to, to chop. Um, but the spindle is, is quite a hard thing to chop compared to like chopping wheat. And really, apart from that, the combine is pretty much conventional. guys know about it we, we have to um, for the grain maze you have to have a more a, a fluted roller I thought of those of you are familiar with the forager uh, corn cracker it's quite a similar thing not quite so aggressive as a corn cracker but basically you can't have the dimpled rollers they don't they won't really work on grain maze they won't feed the grain maze through properly some say they will but really to do it properly you do need these fluted rollers um, uh, I think additive as well of some some sort, and obviously I think you would say it's got to be uh, crimp store, but I think additive is probably essential, particularly for feeding out to stop the maize getting secondary fermentation and heating when you're doing it. We um, we crimp it one of two ways, really, or we have two ensiling methods. We have a, a, a bagger, so the crimp will put it straight into the bagger and job done. Or if you've got the clamp space or doing it you know, in, a, in a decent scale and not too wide a clamp, I'd suggest, depending on how quick you're going to feed it out you can obviously put it straight and inside it straight into a clamp.